Good evening and welcome to Compline on this wonderfully hot Thursday evening. Let's pray as we begin tonight. Heavenly Father, we come to you as ourselves. We can come as no other. Father, we bring all that we are to you this evening. All of our joys and our worries. Our excitement and our sadness. The light in our lives and the darkness. And Father, we come to you this evening saying, Lord, speak to us, encourage us. Help us to be more of the people you want us to be. Amen. If you're wondering at all what the picture is in the background, it's a picture I took when I was at Death Valley a couple of years ago, where the temperatures get to over 140 degrees. It seemed quite appropriate for today in England. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. Come I this night to the Father. Come I this night to the Son. Come I to the Holy Spirit powerful. Come I this night to God. Come I this night with Christ. Come I with the spirit of kindness. Come I to thee, Jesus. Jesus, shelter me. I will lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. By day, the Lord directs his love. By night, his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. This dwelling, O oh God, by thee be blessed, and each who here this night does rest. May God be in my sleep, may Christ be in my dreams, may the Spirit be in my repose, in my thoughts, in my heart, in my soul always, may the sacred three dwell. May the Father of heaven have care of my soul his loving arm about my body, through each slumber and sleep of my life. The Son of God be shielding me from harm. The Son of God be shielding me from ill. The Son of God be shielding me with power. The Son of God be shielding me this night. And tonight I'm going to read you some verses from Mark 4, 35 to the end. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crown behind, they took him. They took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was at the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. All shall be well, Lord. It's hard to grasp this in a struggling world. Earth's foundations eroding, stained dark by seas of suffering. Evil surging, waves crashing with destructive force on moving sand threatening cliff falls of faith, lashing the puny breakwaters of belief, threatening inundation. Yet all shall be well. 
seasick with seasonal anxiety. The hard knot of panic just below my heart. I look to you, wondering, doubting. Is your hand stretched out yet again? Will you restrain the storm? Will you bring peace? Lord, you are still the centre of every storm. In you is calm. Whatever the wind outside, in you is reassurance, however high the waves. In you is strength, however contrary the tide. I put myself in your hand. The sea is vast, no landmarks. I don't know the way. At times I can't even point north or where the sun sets hidden by a cloud. But I'm content to leave the navigation to you, to meet the unknown, to find, if not new continents of faith, at least an island or two. Knowing that in spite of the storm and in spite of its strength, all shall be well. Let's turn now to our prayers for this evening. Heavenly Father, we each come to you this night. We come now to you in prayers. Father, we know that we can pray words of praise to you and worship. We can give thanks to you. We can petition you and ask you for things. And Father, we know that there are no right words to say in prayers. All you want is for us to talk to you. It doesn't matter what we say. It matters that we say something. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight that you will still the storm of this world that we are in. Sometimes it feels like we're in the eye of the storm and we're surrounded by chaos and it's just one step away from us. Sometimes it feels like we're miles away from that storm, yet we can see it coming and it's lurking on the horizon and it makes our hearts sink. Sometimes, Lord, we're paddling at the edge of the lake and all is calm and peaceful. And the refreshing water is lapping at our feet. Feet? Feet. And Father, that's a good place to be. And yet sometimes, Father, we feel like we are on the edge of a tornado going round and round and round and it's getting quicker and higher and darker and more scary. Father, wherever we are in this night, we ask that you will remind each and every one of us of that calm in the storm, that calm in our lives that can only be found by you, with you, from you. So Father, wherever we are tonight, help us to sit in peace with Jesus at the back of the boat. Help us to rest on him Help us to trust him, knowing that all will be well. All manner of thing will be well. And let's say the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, <coughs> but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Sleep or sleep in the calm of each night. Sleep or sleep in the guidance of all guidance. Sleep or sleep in the love of all loves. Sleep or sleep in the Lord of life. Sleep, O oh beloved, in the God of life. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, wherever you are tonight, whatever is happening, whatever your life is, there is always calm in our Heavenly Father. There is always peace in Christ Jesus. Good night and God bless you.